Well, Union Home Minister Ramit Shah has just landed at the LGBI airport in Guwahati for a crucial three-day tour. Shah is accompanied by BJP National President J.P. Nadda. Both Shah and Nadda were accorded a grand welcome by Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma and his cabinet colleagues. Union Minister Sarbananda Sonwal also welcomed Shah and Nadda to Assam. Union Home Minister Amit Shah is heading straight to the state guest house at Koinadhara from the airport. Well, the Union Home Minister will attend a crucial meet on flood-free Assam at the state guest house. Well, during the three-day visit, Shah will also inaugurate the newly constructed state BJP office in Guwahati, besides chairing a crucial meet with chief ministers and DJPs of the region on narcotics control. The Union Home Minister will also attend the Northeastern Council's plenary session in Guwahati and address a BJP Karyakarta Sanmelan in the city. Well, uh, today's meeting on flood-free Assam that will be attended by Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma, Assam Water Resources Minister Pijus Hazarika, State Disaster Management Minister Jogen Mohan and top officials of the Central and State Water Resources Department. Well, after the flood-free Assam meet, Shah and Nadda are slated to take part in the core committee meet of Assam BJP in Guwahati. All right, so big story. We are tracking this evening, viewers. Well, Union Hope Minister Ramit Shah has just landed at the LGBI airport in Guwahati for a crucial three-day tour. And also, let me tell our viewers here that Amit Shah is accompanied by BJP National President J.P. Nadda. Well, both Shah and Nadda were accorded a grand welcome by Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma and his cabinet colleagues. Well, Union Minister Sarbananda Sonwal also welcomed Shah and Nadda to Assam. Well, Union Home Minister Ramit Shah is heading straight to the guest house at Koinathara from the airport. And to know more on this, we are being joined live with our Chief of Bureau Arindam Das, who is right there at Koinathara at this point in time. Uh, so, Arindam, uh, Amit Shah has just landed at the LGBI airport and he will be moving straight towards uh, Koinathara. And uh, the Union Home Minister will attend a crucial meet on flood free Assam there. So, give us uh, more details. And who else will be present in the meeting there? Arindam. That's right, Priya. Union Home Minister Amit Shah, as well as BJP's National President JP Nadda, is on a three day visit to Assam. Amit Shah has got uh, official engagement as well as uh, engagement of the Bharatiya Janata Party. So, speaking about the official engagement, uh, uh, we know that uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, as well as the National, Pre National President uh, JP Nadda, has uh, landed at the local Pragopinath Bordelo International Airport and they have, uh, according to our sources, have already departed for this location. We are right now at uh, the State Guest House 1 uh, uh, here at the Koinadhara in uh, Guwahati where the Union Home Minister is expected to arrive in some time from now. So uh, after, as soon as he arrives here, uh, there will be a meeting on a flood-free Assam, that is a meeting on flood mitigation. So various stakeholders of flood mitigation like the Disaster Management Authority, the Central uh, Water Commission, as well as other stakeholders who are related to flood mitigation will be uh, in this meeting. So this is meeting is expected to last, according to the official schedule, this meeting is expected to last for about uh, an hour. And after that, uh, uh, we have been also told that the Union Home Minister is likely to address a press conference immediately after this uh, uh, crucial meeting on flood mitigation in Assam. And there probably he'll say in details about what... Uh, or issues were discussed in this meeting or what resolutions have been taken in this uh, meeting. And uh, after that, uh, there is going to be a meeting of the Bharti Janta Party core committee uh, where the Union Home Minister as well as uh, uh, national uh, president of uh, the Bharti Janta Party, J.P. Nadda, will be present. Uh, and uh, tomorrow, uh, 
There are going to be several other sessions uh, here at uh, the state get guest house, and uh, we, uh, we can tell that uh, there is going to be a crucial meeting on uh, narcotics, uh, where the uh, director general of the narcotics uh, bureau, control control bureau, will be present along with uh, the DGPs of all the northeastern states, the chief ministers of all the northeastern states. So, as we know that um, uh, the northeast has always been uh, used as a corridor uh, uh, for the, the uh, drugs uh, smuggling and how. How to tackle with this menace, uh, that issue will be uh, thoroughly discussed uh, during that meeting. And after that, uh, there is uh, going to be several other meetings. And on the day three, uh, there will be uh, another meeting at the Administrative Staff College in Guwahati, where the Union Home Minister will be uh, there at the Northeastern Council's uh, plenary session, uh, which is going to be held in Guwahati uh, from tomorrow. So, uh, and after that, he is going to uh, leave for Dergao uh, Police Training Center, where uh, there will be an SPS uh, conference of Assam. So, uh, right now, we can see that. Uh, the police personnel present here are on alert, so it might be the Union Home Minister's car carry is expected to arrive in any time from now. We are showing uh, our viewers the live visuals uh, right outside the gate of the State Guest House Number 1 at Koinadhara in Guwahati, where the Union Home Minister uh, Amit Shah, as well as uh, BJP National President J.P. Nadda, along with the Chief Minister of Assam, will be coming here uh, and they will be holding a crucial meeting on uh, flood mitigation that is titled uh, uh, Flood Free Assam. So, as I have mentioned, the various stakeholders of flood mitigation uh, like the uh, State Disaster Management Authority, the Central Water Commission, and other such uh, uh, stakeholders who are uh, directly involved with flood mitigation uh, will be uh, will be uh, present in this meeting, and there will be crucial discussion as to how to make Assam flood free because we know that flood is a perennial problem faced by Assam every year and uh, 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 large tracts of uh, the, the state go, goes under water uh, sometimes almost all the districts reels under flood water there is also casualty there is also uh, erosion problems. So all those issues are going to be discussed uh, in this meeting. And tomorrow, uh, there is also going to be a meeting on the uh, North East Space Application uh, on uh, with the stakeholders of the North East Space Application Center, where uh, probably uh, how uh, the issues of uh, flood mitigation or other agricultural issues uh, can be uh, monitored through uh, remote sensing, that's through satellite, that would be discussed in that meeting. So right now we are uh, outside the corner her guest house uh, here at Khanapara, where the Union Home Minister Amit Shah is expected to arrive uh, in a short while from now. We can see already see that the uh, uh, security personnel present here. They are uh, on alert and uh, probably they are going to. Uh, 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 so I can tell you that the first uh, escort car has arrived, and uh, these are the live visuals of the carcade of. Uh, the Union Home Minister coming. So with the first vehicle entering the Konyadhura premises and after that uh, uh, there are several other vehicles in, in this car cat which will be entering and uh, you can see uh, right now uh, um, uh, another vehicle. This is probably a uh, vehicle of uh, higher police official entering uh, the premises. So uh, the car kid is uh, expected uh, to arrive already. The pilot car has uh, reached the location and uh, uh, we are showing our viewers the live visuals of uh, the car kid of uh, Union Home Minister Amisha arriving at the Koinadhara uh, State Guest House number one where there will be uh, two crucial meetings today. One is uh, on um, mitigating the flood problem in Assam and uh, the, the other is a core committee meeting of the Bharti Janta Party. So, uh, uh, I, uh, our viewers can see the live visuals of right from outside the Koinadhara State Guest House. Uh, one, we are at the gate and uh, uh, the Union Home Minister is expected to arrive any time from now. And uh, we have been also told that immediately after the meeting on uh, flood-free Assam, the Union Home Minister is expected to uh, or likely to address a press conference uh, where he will uh, tell us in detail about what were the deliberations uh, during this meeting. Back to you, Priya. Well, Arindam, uh, Amit Shah will uh, just uh, land. He has already landed at the LGBA airport and he'll reach the guest house anytime now. Well, uh, the flood-free Assam has been the BJP's poll promise, isn't it? So very crucial meet shortly to be cha chaired by the Union Home Minister, isn't it? 
All right, uh, we have lost a connection uh, with uh, Arindam Das, uh, but let me tell our viewers here that uh, you know, Home Minister Ramit Shah has already landed uh, at the LGBI airport and now he is on his way to the guest house and anytime soon he will be reaching the guest house. Well, uh, both you can see on your screens right now, well, both Amit Shah and uh, JP Nadda were accorded a grand welcome by Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma and host of other BJP leaders. All right, uh, again, uh, I'm being joined by our chief of bureau, Arindam Das. So, Arindam, the flood free Assam has been the BJP's uh, poll promise. So, a very crucial need shortly to be chaired by Union Home Minister, isn't it, Arindam? Yes, uh, that's right. We have seen uh, that uh, in the BJP's uh, poll manifesto, the flood problem in Assam has always been put on the paramount. That is how to make Assam flood free because uh, Assam is a state uh, where flood is a perennial uh, problem. Every year flood ravages the entire state. Sometimes the entire uh, districts of the state reels under flood water. There are casualties. People lose their lives uh, apart from uh, the uh, livestock uh, uh, that's being uh, perished in, in this uh, flood as well as uh, there is uh, erosion taking place uh, at several locations. In fact, we have seen how uh, erosions are taking place at several locations on the banks of river Brahmaputra, uh, eating more and more uh, landmass and uh, it's turning uh, out to be the river and areas. So, so uh, definitely uh, the uh, flood issue has uh, remained a paramount of the Bharatiya Janata Party as we have seen that during the poll manifest, in the poll manifesto also the BJP has uh, put a flood as the foremost uh, priority in the state as to how to tackle the flood scenario because uh, as I have said flood is a, uh, an annual uh, uh, problem faced by the state of Assam uh, where the entire state uh, reels on the flood. So, uh, we have also seen uh, uh, not only the Union Home Minister but also the Prime Minister during uh, various campaign rallies or other uh, uh, crucial meetings uh, while addressing uh, the, the masses have also said that they have always a vision to make Assam uh, flood free. So right. several plans have been taken as to how to mitigate the flood problem in Assam. So uh, right now, uh, after the Union Home Minister arrives at this location at the Assam st uh, State Guest House Number 1, the crucial meeting on flood free Assam will be held where f various stakeholders of mitigating flood will be present in this meeting. Right. Uh, so Arindam, the, also the crucial uh, Chief Ministers and DJP's uh, conference on narco control tomorrow. So another crucial need scheduled. That's right. Uh, another crucial meeting uh, that is uh, on narcotics. How to deal with the uh, narco menace, uh, uh, not only in the northeast but also in the entire country. As we know, that uh, large number, I mean, uh, the quantity cannot be said as to how much uh, of drugs are smuggled uh, through the northeast because this has been the corridor from the Golden Triangle area. So, uh, as soon as uh, uh, the uh, uh, BJP government here under the leadership of uh, uh, Chief Minister Himata Bishya Sharma uh, took over. He uh, took a vow that's a war on drugs uh, that will be, uh, be done to tackle the uh, drug menace in Assam. And after that, there were a series of uh, drug haul, there were raids, uh, there were arrests being made. In fact, uh, uh, several seizures have been made of, uh, of drugs uh, who, uh, which have come to the region. and. The drugs not only come uh, uh, for to be sold in the northeast, but this has been used. The northeast has been used as a corridor uh, uh, to uh, smuggle drugs uh, to the entire country. So, the presence of the Director General of Narcotics Control Bureau in this uh, meeting is uh, very crucial because uh, that meet in that meeting all the DGPs of uh, the northeastern states uh, as well as the Chief Ministers of uh, all the northeastern states will be present in this meeting to discuss in detail as to how to tackle the drug menace uh, here in the northeast so that uh, the entire supply chain can be choked. Uh, so uh, tomorrow this meeting is going to take place here only at the state guest house uh, where uh, Union Home Minister uh, Amit Shah will be chairing this meeting in, and in that meeting will be present 
the Director General of uh, Narcotics Control Bureau, as well as uh, the Director General of Police of all the eight northeastern states, as well as the Chief Minister of all eight the northeastern states, to uh, formalize a strategy as to how to unitedly tackle the flood menace uh, here in the northeast, so that the supply chain of drugs, uh, not only to the northeast from the uh, Golden Triangle area can be choked, but also that sub supply chain to the mainland India, which goes through the northeast, can be choked here. So this is going to be a, a crucial meeting that is going to take place tomorrow here at the State Guest House uh, in Guwahati. All right, yeah. Arindam Das, thank you so much for now. We'll come back to you. Well, uh, meanwhile, uh, preparations are on in full swing for the inauguration of a newly built Assam BJP headquarters in Guwahati's Bashishtha Charyali locality. And earlier today, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Baswa Sharma reviewed the preparations at the new building, which would be inaugurated by Union Home Minister Ramit Shah in the presence of BJP National President J.P. Nadda tomorrow morning.